Hi and welcome back. So, um, something slightly different now. I don't think I've done one of these before, but I finished the project at the weekend and I've tidied down all my work area. So I thought we'd have a uh, bit of a stash update because I have bought one or two um, kits this year. <laughs> um, and I'll sort of go through what they are, why I bought some of them and some of them are just, I like the look, some of them I really fancied doing. So first off, I'm not going to take this one out of the box because it's a 3D printed kit. Uh, guy did it at home so it's not in a proper box it's it's all packaged really tightly but this is the uh, Liberator from Blake 7 and getting the Liberator is sort of like a grill kit for me I grew up watching Blake 7 um, we've got a few more resin kits from Cosmic Scale Models my brother got me this uh, I just fancied the look of the 172 Viper. I'm building quite a few 172 scale at the moment. And I thought um, the Stingray Titan Terrorfish, I like. I, I was a big fan of Jerry Anderson's stuff. But I thought this would be a great uh, kit for the um, Kenny Cart Hang group build uh, between Christmas and New Year with Hobby Link International. Um. Right, what should we look at next? Um, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos this year of the egg plane builds and I hadn't seen these previously and it looked really cool. So I went on eBay and I found one. So I've got one of them in my stash ready for that next year. Um, we'll have a look at them in a minute. Um, I'm a big fan of Formula One, which a lot of people don't know. And this was one of the very unique Formula One cars from 76, a six wheel Tyrrell. This is the uh, one that comes with all the photo etch. So at some point I'll be building another car because I've only ever built one car previously. So this will be good fun. If I can open the boxes, we'll have a quick peek. If I can't, we won't. Um. I built the uh, P38, P48, I get confused, from Tammy to me uh, earlier this year and I really enjoyed the build. So I bought a couple of World War II planes, I brought the Spitfire because it's classic, met Schmidt in the Corsair because I just love the look of the Corsair. So they're going to be fun to add to my collection and they're not huge, don't take up a lot of space. And again, 172 scale. Doing a few things in 172. Uh, right. Um, the other week, not weekend gone, weekend before, I was at uh, Destination Trek. Um, the podcast me and my brother and a good friend of ours do, Retrek Pod, we were invited uh, down as... Um, as guests were doing an event, one of the activity day, one day. So while I was there, I also did the fan thing and I picked, and there was a uh, David who has a uh, Santa Claus is shop in the UK, and he had loads of Trek models, and I could have gone mental, but <laughs> I did get um, a Reliant and a Defiant. I also got a Galore class, been after one of them for ages. Um, he didn't have his 1350 one, Katinga with him, but he did have the uh, 537, so I picked up a Katinga. And I also picked up a Runabout, and again, this is in 172 scale, this is the Runabout. So I picked up five Star Trek models, a very really reasonable price, I must say. I could have spent a lot more money than what I did, but I was controlled. Um, 
when I popped over to see Keith at Cosmic Scale Models, because you can order his resin online, he had some nice kits in his shop. So I got myself an Eagle Transporter, because I love Space 1999, another Jerry Anderson production. Uh, you can maybe tell I love Jerry Anderson's stuff, like I did the Thunderbird 2 last year. I've got the Titan sub and I've got that. And there's rumours Keith at Cosmic Scale Models may be doing a Stingray. And I will be on to that like a breath. And I also got myself um, the Revel at at while I was there. And I got this in there. Uh, this is 153. And I was able to find, um, also by Revel on eBay, a couple of snow speeders in 152. And the scale is close enough. So I'm thinking of doing um, a, a Hoff diorama scene with these uh, for a Star Wars group build. Um, don't know if I'll have time with plans I've got of other kits for this year's Star Wars, but it might definitely be put on to May the 5th starting 2024. So that'll be really good fun if as a diorama to work on. Um, and that's all I've bought this year that I haven't started. Obviously, the Ferengi shuttle that we just finished, I bought this year. And the P-38 I bought this year. So, quite a few uh, interesting, fun, different kits to come up on the channel let alone things I already already had in my stash previously. Um, I'm not sure what I'm off to be building this weekend. May get back on with the flying sub and get that smashed out the way and then maybe pick another small smaller build just to see it's into the end of the year. Or I might do one of the planes as a simple build just as a break after all of complex electronics in the Ferengi shuttle we'll have to wait and see what the mood takes me um, but I hope you enjoyed um, having a bit of look at my uh, stash editions this year <laughs> and some of my plans with some of them and when they might be coming on the channel but for now thank you for watching keep trekking and keep modelling Thank you. Goodbye.